We're all looking for things to sell that are going to bring in a really good profit. And today I'm going to be sharing with you 20 plus items that I've sold for $75 or more on all the different platforms that I sell on. Hi there, my name is Margaret. Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. If you're new here, I'd like to welcome you. My channel's all about reselling. We pick up things from garage sales, estate sales, thrift stores, all sorts of different places to sell on eBay, Etsy, Mercari, Poshmark, Facebook Marketplace, and just about any other platform that we can sell on. And we do this full time. When I say we, I mean myself and my partner Juan. And so today I'm going to share with you 20 plus items that we've sold for $75 or more. Now, most of these items are going to be items that we've sold online. There's maybe one or two that we sold locally. We do sell a lot of things locally that sell for well over $100, $200. Um, I guess I should probably do a separate one and I should probably do a separate video on that because it's not something that is everybody's cup of tea, but like appliances and things like that that we will pick up and repair and flip for a really good profit uh, locally. So that's something else that we have. Um, I always advocate for having multiple streams of income. So if you aren't, you know, considering selling locally, there's a lot more avenues available there, you know, especially if you've got large items that you're not comfortable shipping, which is in my case, uh, yeah, I didn't like picking up really big things and I'm not gonna ship appliances and stuff like that. So uh, again, if you haven't yet, go down there and hit the subscribe button and the bell so you're notified when I put out new videos. The first item that sold for $75 or more are these men's Iron Ranger boots. These are a pair that Juan actually picked up when we went to a garage sale. This might have been one of the first times he and I went out garage selling together. Well, he found these three pairs of Iron Ranger boots two brown and one black, and the, the woman wanted uh, $200 for them. I would have never known to pick them up, but he, you know, we started getting in the car, we started leaving, and he said, turn around, turn around, turn around, go back, we're getting those boots. And he was right. So it ended up being about $66 a pair, if I'm doing my math right. Uh, and these, and they all sold really, really quickly. These sold for $110 on eBay. And I will say that we do sell on multiple platforms, as I mentioned before. And I use the program List Perfectly. I have a, a link down below so you can let them know that I sent you. And I think you get 30% off your first month if you use my code Texas Gal. See there, Texas Gal or Texas Gal Treasures. I don't know. It's in the in the comments sec or the description down below. Not a sponsored video or anything. It's just what I use to to get all my listings across all the different platforms that I can. So these sold on eBay. Next up, this uh, sold on Etsy. This just went out yesterday. This is a National Lampoon's magazine. Uh, Juan and I picked up, again, he found all of these magazines, comics. Um, they were Mad Magazines and National Lampoon's, Vampirella, Psycho, Creepy. I mean, all these vintage 60s, 70s magazines. Uh, comics. We got them all, there must have been at least 600 of them, for $65 and they've been selling steadily, some of them for $20, $50. Um, and this one sold for $200 yesterday and it went to Germany. So that is my next one. I would, again, one to the rescue. Uh, this is a ginger jar. Ginger jars are other items that I really like to pick up. This was a nice Celadon ginger jar and it sold for $75. I believe I bought this for three or four dollars at Savers. Um, and it and they don't, I mean, they don't normally sit for too, too long depending on, on the design on them. So this one, you know, was a really nice one and it sold $75. And this was on Etsy. Next up, uh, Wally sold and I, I took an offer on this one and I believe it was about $290. I had two Wallys. Uh, one of them I believe sold for around the asking price, three, three twenty-five, somewhere in there. And then the other I believe sold for about two ninety. Uh, but these I bought new for sixty dollars when they came out. I I like to do that. I like to pick up um, Lego sets that I think are going to, when they retire, be really collectible. So you might see a few of those here in this video, but it's something that I really like to do if I have any extra income laying around that I can, you know, go and invest in some new Lego sets that I think might be collectible when retired. I feel like I'm repeating myself. So that, that was a good pickup. 
Okay, I let Vampirella slide in, even though it wasn't $75 or more, because she did sell for $70. This is one of the magazines, again, that was in that lot that we picked up for $65. Vampirella, this one sold for $70. And I have had, let's see, this one sold on eBay. I have had some people messaging me uh, wanting to lot them all up and wanting a better price. And I, I guess we could have done that, but I feel like if we just go ahead and sell them individually, we're gonna end up making a lot more money uh, doing it that way because they're, I mean, they're not 100% scarce, but they're kind of scarce. So I'm happy to, to just sell them one at a time and wait for the buyer that wants that particular one to get the return on investment. And again, we spent $65 on the whole kit and caboodle of 600 of them. So I mean, maybe a dime a piece or less. It was just, yeah, a, a really great pickup. All right, next up, this is a Firefly Serenity replica model of uh, the Firefly ship from the show, Firefly. And it sold for $100. This was an item that came in a loot crate that I got. And if you can see, I don't know if you can see if I position right there is my tub of all my Firefly stuff. Um, I was getting the loot crate boxes and I think I was getting a cut like two of them because I wanted one to keep and one to be able to save so that when the time came I could start selling them. Well, as it turns out, I wasn't displaying any of the, the things from these loot crates and I decided I'm just going to sell them. They're just, you know, sitting in a tub in my closet you know there were maybe a couple pieces that I put out that I really liked so I decided to go ahead and start selling them off so I got a hundred dollars for this ship next up this is a, a vintage camphor wood hand carved box uh, it's really you know it's it's nicely carved and it sold for eighty four dollars I believe that I picked this up for about three or four dollars I want to say this was at Savers as well. I really like picking up boxes and trinket boxes, jewelry boxes. They're easy to store, easy to ship, they're easy to photograph, and yeah, and they usually sell. It just depends. Um, they're not selling as quickly as I as they used to, but I'm wondering if Q4, I need to pay attention to that. Maybe Q4 they'll start selling a little bit quicker, but I enjoy picking them up anyway. They usually bring a pretty good profit. So $84 and this one went out. This was Mercari, I believe. And then another Firefly item sold. This was a set of nine posters. Um, and they were like 11 by whatever, you know, they weren't ginormous posters or anything like that. But again, they came all coiled up, you know, in, in cellophane. I actually found a stock photo, so I didn't have to take them out of, they were still new in the cylinder. Uh, and so I was able to find a stock photo and they sold for $100 on Mercari, I think, here. Here's another pair of those boots. Uh, these are the Brown Iron Rangers, and these may have been the ones that sold first. So again, about $66, and they sold for $185. Now, these Yeti hats um, we got from a guy who had a lot of Yeti stuff, and he was selling the hats. He had some shirts that we just ended up keeping, giving to the kids. Um, but the hats we listed most of them, I think one kept one and let the kids pick out one to keep. But these were uh, visors and they had the UT Yeti and I've sold, I think there were, yeah, there were three of them. Uh, and this one sold for $90. I put 174, I like to put high prices on things, especially when I can't find any like them. And so this is something that I put a really high price on because I just didn't know what it might be valued at and y'all know sometimes yeti can get crazy prices so i did i just put a crazy price on it and then just kind of took offers as they came in and this one sold for 90 bucks next up this bakelite bangle sold for 75 dollars this was one that was gifted to me this pair of boots funny story after the garage sale, it was like two days later juan wanted to go back to the house of the lady who was selling the boots because he bought three pairs and he said, she said she had one more pair and I should have asked her about it, I should have. And so we went back over there, which I thought was bananas. I was like, it's not, they're not having a garage sale anymore. Why are, this is weird. What are you doing? He's like, no, 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 trust me, trust me. I said, okay, let's go. So we went over there and sure enough, she still had them, she still wanted to sell them and she sold them uh, to us for $80 and then we turned around and sold them very quickly for $200. 
And then here is a pair of men's Iron Ranger boots. Again, these sold for $175. This is a little square ruby ring that sold. It was very interesting. Now, I have a, a Presidium gem tester that I can test the stones with. And so this tested out as a ruby. Now, the Presidium gem tester doesn't distinguish between lab created or natural. And this was set in sterling silver, so it might have been something that was older. I'm not sure. Uh, but you know I did put in the listing you know I showed um, oh there it is there's a little video where I went through and I was doing a bunch of rings that that had um, gemstones in them and so in the video I showed all the rings from the listing you know and I just put you know watch it from this point for that ruby ring or whatever so that they could see that it was testing out with the gem tester to so they could be sure that that's what they were buying right then this actually sold this morning this is a an art nouveau it's a green slag glass lamp i found it in a garage sale for ten dollars i couldn't leave it behind but this was before i was selling locally it was before yeah it was before we were, i was flipping things locally and so uh, but i just could not leave it behind and all of that black that you see is like cast metal so it was very heavy and I'm just, I was thinking to myself, what am I doing? How am I going to ship this thing? Because it's got glass and then it's got this super heavy like cast iron like base and all of the pieces holding the glass is like metal, this heavy, heavy metal. I'm just thinking, what am I doing? But again, I couldn't leave it behind. So spent $10 on it and I, um, I actually took $160 for it. So the buyer paid $160. And Juan went and met uh, the, the lady this morning to deliver it. So it was really nice. Then this is a flip ring. This is an intaglio flip ring. It's a Sarah Coventry. One side has got this green cabochon. The other side has this black rose intaglio, which means like instead of like a cameo that's like out, the intaglio is like carved down. So this uh, ring sold for $75. And I believe I got this in a jewelry box. So that was pretty cool. Then this coach leather bag sold and it actually sold for $200. I took an offer on this on eBay. I got this before I even moved here and I got it at a garage sale for $40. Again, it was one of those, I just couldn't leave it behind, but this one was huge. And again, for a while there, I wasn't really shipping really big stuff. So I just got it cause I like coach a lot. It was one of those really thick leather you know, overnighter type bags. And I was like, okay, I have to get this $40. I can't leave it here. It's just crazy. So I did end up selling it for $200 on eBay. Another uh, Lego set sold. This sold for $115. Again, this is another one that I bought new, thinking, you know, whenever they go retired, it'll sell. And it did. $115. I believe I spent $45 or $50 on this one. These are two pair of ox horn, sir, ox horn cups from Sir Jack's, uh, and they sold for 80 bucks. These I spent a little more. These were at Savers, and I think I bought them for $8, which for me, I don't like to spend a lot of money on my inventory, so I was like, mm, eight bucks, do I really wanna spend that on these cups? Well, I made a good choice, so yes. Doctor Who's another set that, oh, that I uh, purchased multiple of this set in the hopes of when it retired it would be um, something that would bring in some extra income and it did i had them originally listed at 160 <clears throat> pardon me and uh took an offer at 150 on the on this one and i think i got them for about 60 dollars a set so and I, I bought quite a few of them so even you know making like a good 80 70 80 dollars profit on these it's pretty good now this is a Funko Pop of a Johnny Rotten, and this I have this one that sold for 150, and I had another one that sold for 105, and I got both of them at like a little mom and pop thrift store kind of junk store before I moved here to Austin, and I believe I paid like 15 or 20 dollars each for them, but I just couldn't leave them behind. I really like the Sex Pistols, so I was pretty excited about, about finding them. And then initially I thought I would keep them, but then I just, I don't display them or anything. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna put them up for sale. And I'm pretty excited. There's a, a Sex Pistols series coming out, I think on Hulu. So I saw an ad for that the other day. Then these just sold the other day. These are some Doc Martin, um, they are canvas sneakers. 
uh, with the floral print. These sold for $90. There goes the, the doorbell. And I picked them up for, I believe, eight bucks. I don't have my thing where I can scroll down and see the inventory note. Good heavens, there we go. Uh, so yeah, these sold for $90. Love picking up dogs. I showed you the things that I sold for $75 or more and I want you to share something down in the comment section that you've sold lately or within the last year, whenever, that you sold for $75 or more so that we can start learning from each other the different kinds of things that we should be picking up. And if you haven't yet, check out the comment section. There's always really great advice and comments down there. I'll see you on the next video. Bye everyone.